Are you looking to protect your peepers on the trail? Then you might want to check out this review of my Sun God Renegades. Let's go. Hello, Russ here, bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. If all of that sounds right up your street, then do consider hitting that subscribe button below for more content just like this every single week. The weather is absolutely shocking today, so I've decided to uh, shoot a couple of videos in my kitchen. So uh, uh, be patient with the echo. <laughs> I'm going to get back outside as soon as the weather starts clearing up. In the past, I always went for the cheapest pair of sunglasses I could possibly find simply because I'm always losing my sunglasses or breaking them or something like that. So yeah, the cheapest option for me anywhere between the five and 10 pound marks, so long as they were UV protective, that was fine and enough for everything that I needed. But when I was living back in London, my flatmate, just before I decided to leave to go to the PCT, he very kindly gave me this pair of Sun God Renegade sunglasses. Uh, so I thought I'd show you all of my experiences in this video. These Sun God Renegades cost £70 plus £4.95 shipping in the UK. On their website they say that they weigh 29 grams, but on my scales they came to 27 grams. I also use a protective pouch for these and I'll explain a little bit more on that later. And I also use a pair of croquis eyewear retainers which weigh 2 grams. The lenses are also made of their trademarked 4K polycarbonate and I'll explain a little bit more on that as well in this video. They say on their website that the lenses block 100% of UV rays, which is incredible. Uh, they have enhanced contrast and a reduced amount of glare, and they are said to be very scratch resistant as well. More on that later. The frame is also made out of another trademarked adventure proof flexible material, which are really durable against bending. They have screwless pop lock hinges for strength and ease of use, and the frames are incredibly impact resistant. I really like as well that the lenses are completely interchangeable so you can change the colors of the lenses whenever you wish. Sun God Renegades are completely customizable on their website as well. You just go on there, you can set the frame type, the colors of the lenses, you can set the color of the little logo that's on the side of the frames as well. So you can end up with a really unique pair of shades. One of the best features about the Sun God Renegades is that they do come with a lifetime guarantee and they say basically if you break these sunglasses in any way, shape or form, they will repair or replace them for you completely free of charge. So that is a really good feature to have. When I was out on the PCT, I found these to be so comfy to wear. They were really light on the face, they fit really well on the bridge of my nose and they were a really good fit for the size and shape of my head as well. That might be different for certain people whether you've got a really big or a small head, I don't know. The frames on these have been absolutely fantastic. There is no wear and tear on them whatsoever. No cracks, no overbending, nothing like that. There's no scratches. I've hiked 200 plus miles in these. They've been absolutely brilliant. I've been shoving them in and out of the hip belt pockets on my backpack. And uh, yeah, they were absolutely great. When we move on to the lenses, it is a very completely different story. On their website, they do say that these are very scratch resistant. So I thought, let's just give them a go without having any kind of protective pouch to put them in. And I was just ripping them in and out of my hip belt pockets when I really wanted to use them. These lenses have actually got very scratched up indeed. So I ended up finding a uh, little pouch to put them in, which was left inside a hiker box. And I found that they started to protect them a lot more. But as you can see, the lenses, if I get a close up of these, they are very scratched up. But to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna buy a new pair of lenses and just pop them in. Um, Cause I don't, I really like the frames. I really like the style, I like the color. So uh, instead of getting a completely new pair, I'm just gonna get a new set of lenses and keep them in a pouch. Really important to keep these in a pouch, even though they say on their website, that these are very scratch resistant. I don't think they really are to be honest and uh, you're better off making sure that you're looking after the lenses by putting them in a pouch. Mine are so bad now that when I wear them they're just full of blotches and uh, they stop me seeing so well. So I don't actually wear these anymore until I get a new set of lenses. Uh, I'll put these back on every single day. On their website they say that they block 100% of UV rays, which of course is fantastic. When I was up in the snowy San Jacinto, I was up really high in altitude, the, the floor was completely covered in snow and these really blocked out the glare. They kept my eyes very comfortable indeed while I was going across 
all of that 200 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail. But now that they're so scratched up, I really don't know how much UV protection these have. Uh, they're probably still really good, but again, keeping them in that pouch is gonna be really handy. It's 70 quid for a custom pair of shades, which are really stylish, very protective, and reduce all of that glare and the frames are so strong and durable, I think that's a pretty good bargain. I mean, a lot of these big brands of sunglasses, when you get really expensive pairs, they can be 150 quid plus, so these are kind of half of that price. These aren't the cheapest pair of sunglasses. You can spend anywhere from like two to 10 quid on a pair of shades, and a lot of the time they will be absolutely fine, but for the durability, the amount of eye protection that you get with these, I think 70 quid, plus the fact that they're customizable on their website and they get that lifetime guarantee, I think 70 quid is a very good deal. I personally think that these are incredibly comfortable sunglasses. They really fit my head very well. As I said before, the bridge of the nose just fits really well on my face. So, And they're really light to wear, they look really good. Um, the style is fantastic. Again, like I said just a minute ago, 70 quid for a fully customizable, really durable, very protective pair of shades. Um, yeah, those are definitely the best bits for me. I do just wish that these were as scratch resistant as they said on their website. It kind of makes out that you won't need to put these in a case and they'll really be tough on any scratches that you get on those, but they definitely aren't. As I said before, you will need a pouch for these particular sunglasses just to protect them. But you know, for an extra few grams and all of the protection that they'll need, uh, I don't really mind having the little case as well. Plus if they're around your neck on the croquis, I wear retainers that can help with the scratches as well. Just imagine though, a pair of shades that you could take on an entire through hike across a country where you didn't need a case or anything for them. Uh, that's what I thought these would be, but they're definitely not, so that's my pet peeves. Overall, these are an incredibly useful and stylish pair of shades at a lower price than most brands. Tough enough for a through hike, but definitely keep them in the case. They're not as scratch resistant as people say. Okay, campfire question. What pair of shades are you using for your through hikes uh, and why? Let us know in the comments section below. The Trail Hunter community would love to hear from you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video about my Sun God Renegades. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one.